Hello, I am going to explain what is a sitemap and I am going to show you how to create and edit a sitemap on the Excel format. So what is a sitemap? A sitemap is essentially a list of pages you would want on your new revised website. For this video, we will be using the sample sitemap for demonstration. When you first click on the sample sitemap, please click on the top navigation tab at the very bottom of the spreadsheet. This tab will show you your top navigation and the drop down menu pages. Feel free to add in the pages and link the name of the pages you would want for your top navigation. For this sample sitemap, the top navigation pages include government, departments, community, how do I? And these are the drop down menu for how do I? And the same thing for community. Once you are done with the top navigation tab, please click on the inside pages tab. inside pages tab will show you all of the pages and the hierarchies of these pages for your new revised website. So you can see this sitemap have five levels pages already built out for you. Column A are your first level pages. Column B are your second level pages. Column C are your third level pages. Column D are your fourth level pages. Column E are for your fifth level pages. Column F are for any notes you would like to add for a certain page. Looking at this, you can tell right away City Council is a third level um, page. This page will be created under government, agendas and minutes, and then city council. Every page on the sitemap will have the same top navigation as mentioned in the top navigation tab right here. When looking at the Inside Pages tab, please also pay attention to the order of the pages because this determines how the site will be built. For example, election is placed below elected officials. But if you want this page to be above agendas and minutes, please move this up here. If not, this order will be how it will be built on your new revised website. Next, I want to bring your attention to the sitemap key. Everything on the sitemap needs to match the sitemap key. Any blue hyperlink like agendas and minutes will tell you the content from this page is linked to your current website page. Any page that has the text color purple like election right here, 
This tells you and the migration team that this page is just a link to an, an existing page on your, on your sitemap. As you can see, election is originally created here. And under community, election page is a link to this original page. You would want one blue hyperlink page and any page with the same content or relevant information as election, you would want that to be purple. This will prevent your site from having multiple pages with the same content. Next is any page that has the text color red. This will tell you that this is linking to an external website. For example, like the CDC website, that page will be red. Next, any page that is, has the text color green means it's linking directly to a document. A document is considered a PDF, a Word, Excel, PowerPoint, an audio file, an image, et cetera. Next, any text that has a plain, a plain color text or black means it is a brand new page or it is a placeholder. For example, you do not have the page called departments yet on your new device, on your new site. Therefore, departments will be a new page. Then I am going to show you how to edit a sitemap or to add in information for a sitemap. First, to add in a new page, please remember each cell is considered a new page. To add in a page, please click on the cell of where you would want it. For example, under government, I want to add a new page called Boards and Commissions. And I want this right here. To add a page, you could directly type the name of the page in. To name to rename a page, you can simply click on the cell, like for example, this, and you can change the name. For example, I might wanna change the word and to this. You can directly type in the cell to change the name of it. Next, I am gonna show you how to create a hyperlink. Creating a hyperlink is important because this will prevent the migration team from transferring the wrong data over. For example, for boards and commission, I want this to be linked to the revised website. For, therefore, I can click on the cell, go up to the menu, click on insert, link, and the insert hyperlink menu will show up. And I will type in the URL or I can click on Google. And for example, this is what I want words and commission to link to. Therefore, I can highlight the URL, right click, press copy, click on my Excel again, under address, right click, right click and click on paste, then press okay. If you hover over this page now, you could see the URL 
And you can also test this out by clicking on it. This page will directly pull up on a, the internet browser. And to delete any page, you would need to, for example, you don't have the clerk department and you don't want this page. You can simply click on this page and press delete on your keyboard. Next, to rearrange the order of a page, for example, boards and commission is right here. And this is right here. I don't want this anymore, so I press delete. And city council, I want uh, city council to not be here, but I want it to be out here. I can click or on the, to be the second level page. I can click on the cell, right click and press cut and click on where I want it to be, right click, paste. And if you want everything to be in alphabetical order, you can highlight the range of the pages you would like. Go to home, click on sort and filter, click sort from A to Z. And under, and for the sort warning box, please click on continue with the current selection and press sort. This will make all of these pages in alphabetical order for you. So that is all I have. Thank you.